Hi, I'm gonna do, um, whoops, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> every time. Um, I'm gonna do a reading on Orson Welles, because I really enjoyed doing the one about Marilyn Monroe, and it's interesting to, uh, read energy from another time than now. So, I forget when Orson Welles passed on, but it's, I'm a, if I was to guess, it'd be like late 80s, early 90s or something like that. Because I remember he did those like, uh, like wine commercials or something that pe people watch. Um, okay. So, <laughs> or was it wine? Anyway, I'll look at it later. But, uh, okay, Orson Welles. Hopefully my dog will calm down. Uh, like, I don't always feel like so much the physicality of the person I'm reading, but I really feel it in his case, because he was rather heavy. So that's the, my first impression, is just how it feels to be him, like in his body and stuff. And so it seemed like it was, you know, complicated just getting around and, um... I feel like he like absorbed like a lot of negative energy that like um like he was very uh vulnerable to criticism and he just like stored it in his body if if you will like um he had no means of like processing that uh pain of wait I don't want to speak too soon I just want to read it um like heartbreak is one thing um Not so much opportunities for films because I still feel like he was able to satisfy himself like creatively one way or the other and it didn't have to be like big budget because um, there were some elements of working in a big budget that didn't he didn't like like having to compromise. I just pick up on like illness. I mean, I guess I'm reading him like close to his death. Uh, so that's why I'm picking up on this sort of sluggish feeling and like scanning like for disease that like maybe cancers or something that existed in him. If, if they weren't cancers, it was like, like tumors or something. Um, It's interesting like I like I know he's super smart but when I'm scanning his energy like I'm not getting that he was like an intellectual giant necessarily like there's this it's more of a different feeling um it's like give him a task and he'll run with it like he he uh, has this, um, cur courage, like, like if he had had past lives like, as a soldier or like a, le a leader, like a king or like something like that, like he kind of resembles like a little bit like Henry the Eighth or something like that type of like perseverance, willpower, like it's like he took that sort of kingly willpower and just put it to filmmaking or like put, you know, acting and stuff. Sorry, I don't know why my nose is running right now. Um, okay. Awesome. 
I felt like he found interpersonal relationships like a struggle and like a pain in the butt like he like a struggle that he wasn't keen on like fixing you know so much like if someone was a problem he'd be more likely just to drop them as a friend than put the work in I feel like And, like, he, you know, I feel like he was, like, could, there was, like, one person in particular he could have said something very devastating to, and it was, like, you know, really had more, like, ca his casual uh, barbs that he'd throw at people, like, really, for some people, was devastating, um, and other people found it funny or, like, uplifting, or, you know, everybody had a different, either very strong or very... I mean, very good or very bad uh, opinion of him and when he's just like voicing his opinions and stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. It's interesting, um, like you keep, <laughs> keep, like assuming he's like super smart and like reading for that but like I keep sort of getting this different answer back uh, I felt like he could be like a charmer and persuasive and stuff and like uh, he you know he, he got really far through that. I feel like he, it's, again, I get that kind of like kingly energy of like leading the pack. So let's, let's, I'm like, why are you barking right now? Dr. Disco, no, okay. Um, so okay so let's say about like citizen kane citizen kane wouldn't have been as good if like he was if it was like a one man uh crew just him so like he because he's such a great like let's go like it's like a campaign like a almost like a war like let's go and like he get he grabs like the right people and they just like make it happen, you know, long hours and why are you tearing the bed apart? Okay. Anyway, um, so it's, and that's explained why so many of his movies are different one from the other. And you're like, kind of like, you know, why was this and Kane so good? And like the... Magnificent Ambersons, like, so good, you know, like, just so different. Um, and then he had that one that was like kind of freaky with the rain in the car, like, with his uh, wife or girlfriend, like, later in his life, like, just like so different one from the other. Uh, so it's more like, I'm going to make a film, you know, and then it's like, who's on board? Like that, it's that kind of feeling. Just one second. All right. And, uh, okay. I don't know why my nose hurts so much right now. Um, okay. So Orson Welles. I feel like even though like uh, I feel like he kind of hated food in a way I don't know if that makes any sense because he like you know people eat food and he ate food and stuff but like I just feel like he his relationship with food was like of like 
the included patron. Um, okay, don't like my arm right now. Okay, um, I don't know if he like took like a tiny bit of like cocaine or something. There's something like that where it's like throwing him off like f physically like throwing his like homeostasis off a bit like there's some little just getting a little vibe of uh, something like that like a little not like a heavy usage but just like a little maybe he had some like in a little ring box or <laughs> like some something on him that was like a like a snuff box or uh, something like that Stop, you're making noise when you do that, honey. It's gross. Um, Alright, I don't know. My dog at nighttime, he gets really like he has to lick my arm or something. Okay, just calm down. Wait, do you want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? There you go. Dog can just go. <laughs> Alright, so, okay. Oh my god, leave me alone. Um, or some just trying to see if he has like advice or wisdom for this audience okay wait sorry I'm a dog okay I feel like <laughs> His wisdom is like don't be don't become a drunk like because it will uh, get in the way of your creativity and like your progress and stuff. That's good advice. Um, and it, another piece of advice he has is like. Let's say you don't have a lot of money to make a film, but like, do your best to fake that you had a lot of money to make your film. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, I guess like my generation were kind of like okay with some like low res or like low production value stuff, or at least I am anyway. Because uh, I'm like a crew of one for my films and stuff, but uh, the <laughs> he wants people to like really do their best to no matter what your budget to just make it like you know look expensive. <laughs> That's funny advice. I guess it's like do your best, but like. Uh, but the in the do your best it's like make it look expensive somehow <laughs> um okay stop licking my arm with so much bigger okay uh okay one more thing about Orson Welles I feel like he's like don't make a big thing about like romances or relationships he had cause like to, in his mind <laughs> He didn't like put that much effort into like he was just more into like his vibe. Um Okay. Okay, stop scratching my leg. Um okay, sh so okay. Okay, one more I want I don't wanna end on that note. Uh Okay, and I feel like he wants people to like, let's say you have five friends and you wanna do something creative, but like maybe you guys don't have ideas for the project to do. You could <laughs> find some like somebody who does have an idea and just like help them like just that little bit more so that they can get their project done and then you guys like were the producers or like you had 
you know, you get credited for your contributions and stuff, but like, let's say there's someone in your village or on your block or like you just know someone who's just like uh, like really keening to like become a filmmaker but they don't have like the gear or the support or like you know who's gonna watch the screening and like that kind of stuff like just to get it off the ground from like non-existent to a good start or like a good start that looks expensive <laughs> so um, yeah, he wants more people to be like grassroots film producers to help those people who are just creative and like don't have the mind for the business side or organizational stuff. But like you might like to see like what movie they make or I don't know, maybe you can act, maybe you can play a scene in it or something to make it more worthwhile for you or whatever. Um, I feel like he really wants people to, to do that. Oh, that's a cool, uh, I like that message. So, like, let's say you have, like, an office. <laughs> I don't know what the word for that would be. Like, anyway, like, a group of people in your office, and you just, you all decide to, like, contribute whatever towards, like, supporting some local artist to make a film or something like that or like you have like a contest at the local high school or middle school or so, whatever like just something or like there's a single mom or a grandpa or like just someone of interest <laughs> that you want you want to see what kind of movie they can make or uh, something like that so why are you okay um sorry like a drawstring <laughs> I'm joking Yes. Okay, just calm down. Um, anyway, I guess I'll end this video because Dr. Disco's being like too extra right now. And I just took you for a walk. Like, what? Um, okay, so sorry I was more chatty with the dog during this video. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, reading on Orson Welles. Are you going to say bye? Are you going to say bye? Come here. Um, and if you guys have a recommendation for a reading that isn't something I've already covered, uh, that would be great. You can email me, and uh, if you want to make a donation, that would be super cool. I can like get a better gear set up. Um, <laughs> like whatever. Uh, alright, well take care, all the best to you, and have a good evening.